Lord, I pray thee to let me complete this video without sticking myself and joining the blood. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that bless me. Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today <laughs> I know I'm usually excited for every single video, but for this new series, anything but curlers. It just had me another level excited, alright? We just love doing new exciting things to our natural hair. <laughs> my, my natural hair under under this, but I cover it up so that it can retain the moisture so that we can get nice juicy long-lasting curls. Actually, the hair products I use is what determines how long the curls last and starting on wet hair reduces frizz. So today's video idea came from a comment suggestion from my last anything but curlers video. So for today's anything but curlers video, we're going to be using safety pins to curl our hair. You really think I'm going to sit down and curl my hair with this tiny little thing? Really? You 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 could you do? No. So as soon as I saw that suggestion, I went on Amazon and I went looking for jumbo safety pins. Wow. <laughs> These are jumbo jumbo. Well, damn. Just so you can see them side by side. <laughs> you can't even see the tiny one. It's so tiny compared to this huge ass thing. Right there. So these are four inch safety pins. Um, the Amazon description says it's for arts and craft and the uh, heavy duty stuff. <laughs> oh, and I have to be careful because it actually is a pin. So. It actually does have a sharp end to it. So we have here 60 jumbo safety pins. So I can't do my sections too small to go past that. Let's try a piece at the front first. Well, the side. Because I want to do a part. I don't want to keep a center part. Even though apparently doing side parts is for old people. Child, the things I'm learning on TikTok. <laughs> Call me old. So all the products I use will be left down in the description box. After one of to comment and remind me about it. I always forget. Okay. So let us figure out how we're gonna attach safety pins to our head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm just looking at it and saying, okay, what's the best way to do this? I'm thinking, position it like this first. Good. Bring it to the roots so that our roots end up nice and smooth. And what I'm liking about these safety pins is that it does spread way. The legs are not like really far apart. So, yeah. In other words, I feel like I have proper control of the pins. And now I could just treat this, the legs of the safety pin like a regular curling rod and just wrap my hair around it and make spiral curls. I want to use the two legs of the safety pin. I mean, you know, since then, did it? Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold this in position and I'm going to wrap the hair around both the safety pin legs and try not to stick myself on doing it. <laughs> Just take your time and focus. Don't stick 
yourself. Don't stick yourself. Just don't stick yourself. Okay, since we're like at the end, well, close to the end, I'm going to close the safety pin now. And then, I'm gonna just, okay, so it did get a little loose from the roots, but well, that's fine. That's fine, that's, that's totally fine. I hope. <laughs> and I'm gonna just continue wrapping the hair around. And because the safety pin is so big, I'm able to push the hair between. So I'm actually at the end end now. Really, you don't want to focus? So I'm actually at the end end now. See? The tiny little piece of hair. And I can't just leave my hair like this. I can't I can't just let go and say, alright, done. I mean, it looks fine right now while it's wet, but as my hair dries, my hair is going to want to go back to its natural state and shrink up and get kinky again. But that's not what we want. We want the hair to stay in place, to dry in place, so that it has whatever um, curl pattern is going to come from safety pink girls, right? Cool. So, <laughs> So I'm gonna need to secure the ends in place. Okay. So finish wrapping around. So I'm gonna secure the ends with our trusty, ever faithful, ever present, Bobby Finn. Bobby pins always save this channel. <laughs> Hold the end and make sure that we just pin that up. It doesn't go all the way up, it's just the ends you want to make sure it's secure. <laughs> Is my hair up around this too loosely? Is the section too big? Do I need to put the hair pin closer to the roots? Securing it to the roots, probably? I, I don't know. Should I really be telling them I don't know what I'm doing? I don't know. <laughs> but I can tell you, this safe to be carrying some weight, alright? <laughs> alright, let's put this away and let's start working on the back. The safety pins is enough. Close the pin, close to the end, and 
mentioning Kuntanirapi. I'm kinda worried I'm doing these sections a little too small now. But I have two full packs and like four in this pack. So yeah. That's 24 and 4, 28. <laughs> I think we'll make it. I'm telling you this just in case you're watching this video to actually try this hairstyle so the only thing I'm worried about is my hair getting stuck in the little coil at the top of the safety pin this little section here like yeah there are some creases and grooves here that the little strands of hair can get caught in. Yeah. So that might be an issue when taking out these safety pins, but am I going to worry about that now? Nope. <laughs> That's tomorrow's issue. I'll see you when this hair dry. Oops. I probably shouldn't have ate that Jolly Rancho before I filmed this video. So I don't know if it's because these safety pins are meant for art and crafts, but baby, baby, my hair is looking like a work of art right now. <laughs> hours now I even sat under the dryer for like half an hour mm -hmm. my hair should be completely dry by now um yeah sleep report so because these were jumbo pins and it, it wasn't that that close to the root of the hair so you know each of the curls are like flexible you know they can move it was easy to just Take them out of my face and tie my hair back and sleep comfortably. I have no issues whatsoever. I love that for you. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up and pull these out and let's see our safety pin curls. Yeah. This is just me taking out all the bobby pins. Let's skip to the fun stuff. <laughs> If you 
have been enjoying this video, don't forget to thumbs up and answer this question down below in the comment section. Don't let the speed fool ya. I spent way longer than I expected to pulling out these safety pins. I really tried to be extra careful so I didn't tear out any hair. So I was moving really slowly. It took me about 40 minutes to take out everything. The thing is, by separating the hair and making it look nice and voluminous right now, but I'm also accelerating the rate at which my hair is going to frizz up, pump up, and you know, end the style. <laughs> I look so young. <laughs> I just glimpsed myself in the mirror and I'm like, I love this. I don't think y'all are seeing. Y'all aren't seeing what I'm seeing. All right. <laughs> oh wow. All right. No, I need to stop touching my hair, or it's just gonna it's just gonna keep getting frizzy and. We want this style to last us at least a week, so hands out our hair. Anyway, this is, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to this channel and you haven't decided from this one video that you want to subscribe, that's okay. I understand that we just met our first time, but let's not rush into things. Here's what I'll do. I'll leave some more of my videos up in the iCards. You can watch more, get more familiar with my channel. We can become better acquainted with each other. <laughs> we can become better acquainted with each other. And yeah, after like two or three more of my videos, you should realize by then that you enjoy the content here and it just makes sense you subscribe. No, really. It makes sense. Okay, beauties, thanks again for watching. Later. Mwah. Yeah, expect to see me do this again. <laughs>